Welcome to the format with your boy Matt Jackson, aka Ja Freak. Hello, baby. And this episode is the review of WWE NXT in your house from this Sunday. Now, before we start, before we get into it, before I start talking about that pay per view. I'd like to say that if you haven't checked out my uh, interviews from the Pure Pro Wrestlers uh, from this Saturday, then I would check that out because there will be more um, interviews to come in the future. We, I will be having the Hounds of Hades next month, so definitely go ahead, subscribe, go ahead, tell your friends. Stuff like that, and uh, go ahead and get this uh, wrestling mat YouTube channel uh, going. Let's get this going. I want to see subscribers left and right. Um, <clears throat> big things to come in the future. Just uh, you know, show by show. You know, every pure first show I go to, I'm gonna be getting some interviews in. So if it's two, if it's three, if it's four, I'm getting them in. Um, and another thing is you got to go based off, you know, what's going on that night and who is available that night. Because some people are super busy and blah, blah, blah. But I was able to get Mickey Falk um, and Caden Pierre um, from the Saturday show, which is really dope to get those two guys on. Um, uh, I've been actually wanting to have a sit down with Mickey Falk anyway for a while um, because I've been in the back with him for you know quite a while anyway but anyway so NXT TakeOver I mean it, it was a really good show to go ahead and start it off um, it kind of started off kind of you know um, I wouldn't say dead but I would say like nothing at first and then once the match started rolling the first match started rolling it was uh Three on three, it was uh, Bronson Reed with MSK, which if you don't know what MSK means, it means misunderstood kids. And um, then we had them three going up against um, Phantasma, or whatever, I don't want to mess it up or butcher their names. But you had those guys, um, and th the match was really good. I mean, it was some high flying spots, there were some big spots, I mean, it was just... All around, it was a really good uh, match. Um, like like I said, it started off kind of, you know, well, you know, I mean, you can't really say it was dead within the first, yeah, and there was people saying it was dead within, you know, the first couple seconds of the pay-per-view or a couple minutes of the pay-per-view. It's like, dude, Matt, the thing just started. So, I mean, just, you know, give it a minute. You know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, it was good. Um, but, uh, there's a lot of people saying, you know, that, you know, either it be, you know, voiced or whatever, uh, that it said it started off kind of dead, but teach its own. Um, but anyway, um, first match was good. I mean, I really like that. I'm not going to go in order of the matches or whatnot, but I did start off with, the, with that one. But that was, I mean, that was just a really good match. I mean, I can't, I can't. Can't really say nothing bad about it. I mean, um, you know, there was a lot of big spots in that match. Uh, some really good moves. Uh, things well done. Um, I mean, the champions retained, so that's all I guess that matters, you know. Um, also had, uh, there's also Ember Moon versus, um, uh, Gonzalez, uh, Raul, Raul Gonzalez, or however you pronounce her name. Uh, that match was really good. Um, Ember Moon did really good. I mean, it was just, it, I mean, it was a good match all around. Um, you know, Dakota Kai got involved, and then Shotzi Blackheart came out and took her all the way to the back and got rid of her, uh, so Ember could have a better shot at it. But it ended up, you know, Ember losing still, but Ember at least hit her finish move on her. Shit like that. So that was a good, uh, that was a good match too. Um, let's see. There's also um, what was the other matches? I cannot remember off the head. But um, oh man, hold on, man. 
Oh yeah, you also had um, Zia Lee versus uh, Mercedes. Great match, great match. Um, but but what happened after the match was even cooler. It was that girl that that character with Zia Lee, you know, uh, ended up getting uh, involved after the match or whatnot. So I mean, but that match was really good. Um, so. I mean, it won't for no titles, it won't for nothing like that, it was just a, it was actually, um, let's see, Mercedes in it, it beat Zia, Zia, Zia Lee back in the, what was it called, uh, the, the Mae Young Classic, so she had beat her in that, and that's, that was mainly where the feud came from or whatever, and so, uh, that match was good too, I mean, I, um, Zia Lee won, so good, get redemption on her, whatever. Um, but I think one of the matches I liked a lot, um, and it was not, it was other things like you had the original, uh, you had the original guy that was on the old 1980s you know, in your house, the guy that like would say who won the contest and all that stuff, the backstage personality. He was there, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but, and then you had Don Henley, I guess that was his name too, fabulous freeboard guy, Michael Hayes, uh, <clears throat> on it, and it was, that was really cool to see that, and the, just the old school vibe or whatever, but one of the matches I liked the most was the ladder match for the million dollar title against Cameron Grimes and L.A. Knight, um, but, and, but that was a good match. But the thing is, that match, I'm for sure, happened in, in, happened in TN, TNA at one point. Trevor Lee and, and, um, Trevor Lee and uh, Eli Drake. Uh, they fought each other. They had to. But, um, so, but it was a good match all the way up. And, I mean, it was, it was a lot like, it was a hard-hitting match. I mean, y'all got to go back and see it. If y'all didn't see NXT, y'all have to go see it. Um, that was just, I'm a, I, I, it was just, like, a, a lot of hard-hitting stuff, I mean, they, they, they messed each other up, they, they had a great match, uh, there was this one spot when, like, Trevor Lee was going up there, or, or Cameron Grimes or whatever, he was going up to the top of the ladder, next thing you know, uh, you know, like, you know, L.A. Knight <clears throat> threw him off, he went from inside the ring to the outside, landed on a ladder on the stage, uh, giving L.A. Knight enough time to go up there and just, like, grab the, the million dollar title, and it was in a glass briefcase, it was, that was pretty dope, uh, I love the golden ladder with the money signs on it, I love seeing a million dollar man, Teddy DiBiase there, um, just, kind of crazy that there was a TNA match on NXT or something, so, that, that was kind of crazy, but, I mean, what are you going to say, what are you going to do, um, it happened, um, but, um, this is going to be probably a quick, you know, simple, quick little episode, um, reviewing this show or whatnot, but, um, before we get to the main event or whatever, <clears throat> um, I have just recently put out two songs, I put out a song with my son, um, and his friend, and, uh, they do beats on, like, band lab or whatever, and I just added my vocals into it, <laughs> And, um, they loved it, so, um, that is on my, uh, the YouTube channel for that band project, Lord Atheist, if y'all want to check that out, um, but, um, my son's, uh, music name or band, whatever you want to call it, uh, is Skeleton Main, and his friend is Vazicide, so, I did two songs with them recently, so, um, been doing as much as I can with this channel, but like like I said before, I've been doing a lot of music here lately and and other different um, projects and stuff like that, and just keeping myself motivated and keeping myself going and doing more stuff like interviews and you know. So I'll review shows every now and then. Right now I'm watching um, TNA's uh, Against All Odds, and I'll be reviewing that one next as well. But um, but right now. Uh, you know, just a lot of stuff going, and a lot of stuff I'm doing, and, um, so it's been great, um, but, um, if y'all are, um, liking this so far, y'all should go ahead and subscribe, share to y'all's friends, and get everybody else to subscribe and stuff like that, like this, you know, um, 
share it on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Help me out. Um, but anyway, so, a main event was killer. It was killer. I mean, no pun intended, killer cross, but Karrion Cross defending his title against Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, Kyle O'Reilly. <coughs> Who is it? <coughs> Johnny Gargano, Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Pay, I mean, I, yeah. Not Adam Pay, God damn it. Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, <laughs> Karrion Cross. Kyle O'Reilly, and I'm totally blanking, I don't know why, and Pete Dunne, so, there's those five guys fighting it, now man, y'all have to see this match, I mean, there is no really explaining this match, um, this was crazy, um, I really don't even want to get away this match at all, um, if you have not seen the Fatal Five Way match on, on the, in your house, you've got Peacock. You might as well go and watch it, um, or whatever, because it was good. I would say it just I'm not even gonna spoil the main event. Just y'all find out. Go watch it. Find out for yourself. Dope pay per view. Um, for five matches, that was pretty dope. I'm just gonna say right now. I mean, five matches. Come on now. NXT, five matches, it will take over, and those five matches, like, literally took up the amount of time they needed, so, I mean, I'm saying, like, you, you can't, you can't really go wrong with that at all, at all, so, but definitely, um, there will be a review on TNA, um, uh, Against All Odds. So, so far, this, this pay-per-view has been good. Um, so, like I said before, I'll say it again. Go subscribe, like, um, share this. Uh, use wrestling as a hashtag. Use the format as a hashtag. Um, whatever. Um, let's, just, let's just get these, these subscriptions going up a little bit. Go ahead. Uh, 400 and some people in this group, the Russell Matt group on uh, Facebook. Uh, and I would love to get that 400 as subscribers. So, um, but anyway, even if you just subscribe just to help me out, that would be great. You know, you don't have to watch every video I put up. Watch the ones that interest you. I don't care. Just subscribe. And, um,. And heck, I might even subscribe to your channel, and I probably will subscribe to your channel, because that's mainly what I do sometimes, I'll subscribe. But, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back, you know, um, but, um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's get the format going, because, uh, I really enjoy doing these little podcasts, I love talking, um, so, and, I'm just glad to know that I'm just not talking to myself, and I've got people that actually um, will watch and listen, and I really appreciate everybody that is watching these shows, and that have been keeping up with the format, and that uh, they enjoy what I'm doing, because I'm doing it for the people that are listening anyway, um, and of course you got to do it for yourself, um, so I am doing these shows for myself, but I'm doing it for the people that want to listen and want to hear my opinion. Cause I love wrestling, I love talking about wrestling. Um, so, and I'm gonna be trying to be putting out more, um, reviews or more just talking about just random things in wrestling and, and stuff like that. But, well, um, but, the, but overall on this, this pay-per-view, um, for NXT, I just, um, uh, my hat's off to them, um, five, six star rating, whatever, um. I mean, it was, every match was fluent, so every match was good, I mean, every match was, you know, you know, point on, you know, so, I mean, just congrats to NXT, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I, and I even like that part where it was, uh, Dexter Loomis was backstage with that guy, and they were playing, it's like, something weird, I don't know, it was some old, little, 
full week. They were playing with that or whatever. It was crazy because that dude was like, okay, you won, you won. <laughs> Dexter Lewis is a scary guy, I'm telling you. Um, I've been following Dexter Lewis since he was Samuel Shaw in, in, in TNA, and uh, he was a very good talent there as well. Um, but um, I'm not going to hold y'all up too long. I mean, 15 minutes is fun for a review. Um, Cause I'm not gonna go play by play. I'm just gonna basically just talk about each match and just say what I'm gonna say about those matches and you know whatnot. But um, <clears throat> uh, I do very much say, hey, go watch NXT Takeover in your house from the Sunday. Uh, oh, from last Sunday, or you know, from yesterday, whatever, whenever. You, oh, yeah, this Sunday is happening, whatever. Um. But anyway, so, and be looking out for more um, interviews to come in the future. And I've got, uh, I um, got Hounds of Hades lined up. If you don't know how, how, who, if you don't know who Hounds of Hades are, go look them up on YouTube. Go look them up on Facebook. Austin Shadows and Jackson Shadows. Go look them up. I will be having them on the show next month. Um... And so, and I'll have more on that uh, in in future episodes. So be keeping up with this, uh, because the next episode I'll probably you know I'll be you know dropping when that date is and all that stuff like that. It's in July, I know that, but um, so I'll be looking forward to that. Hounds of Hades. Um, from what I've seen in their work and been around them and friends with them, um, just. You know, this is going to be the interview you're looking forward to seeing. I mean, the uh, like, and then that's not to knock the other interviews that I have done. I have done, I can't even imagine, I can't remember how many I have done so far. Uh, I know I did two this Saturday, and then the one before that, Super Clash, not, yeah, Super Clash 9. It was, um, freaking, it was, what, Christian T. Taylor. It was, uh, Wyatt. It was um, that tag team which makes two people. That was four people. That's four, five, six wrestlers. But I know I had about five on that show. So I interviewed what, five people there and then two here. So that's seven people all together, or seven wrestlers all together that I've interviewed so far. And there's more to come. And it was yellow. That's right, yellow too. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. Um, I don't know why I forgot that real quick. But anyway, so yeah, it's been seven, seven wrestlers so far that, that I've interviewed, and I've got the likes of Jimmy Love coming soon. Um, that's a, that one's going to be a whole uh, video, a whole interview just to Jimmy Love. And the Hounds of Hades are getting their own, um, their own video as well, um, because I'll be talking to both of them, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure I can... Get about 20 minutes out of that, and then that'll be, you know, 10 minutes talking to Austin, 10 minutes on Shadows, I mean, uh, Jackson Shadows, so that one is to be looked out for, I'm going to tell y'all again, be looking out for that one, it's going to be in July sometime, but, hey, at least we got something to look forward to, Hounds of Hades, and Jimmy Love, and Bobby Gardner to come too, now, I haven't forgot about Bobby Gardner, I'm just waiting for that perfect time, to actually sit down and talk to him, and um, and so you definitely be getting those in, um, and I'm hoping to get some others, um, like for real. I'm hoping to get Livid the Clown at some point. Um, I'm supposed to be getting Max Carnage um, at some point, and he'll have his own show as well. Now, certain, 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 certain ones will get their own shows. It just depends on. Who all I, I got that night and uh, whatever, but uh, the last two shows I did the Super Clash Nine interviews. I did all those, of course, in one video because that was Super Clash Nine interviews, which was a big moment for me um, in this whole interviewing wrestlers. Uh, so um, Super Clash Nine, if y'all haven't seen them, them interviews, go back and watch them uh, or watch it uh, because I interviewed five wrestlers in that and. Um, and that was at Super Clash 9. So, um, and I wasn't able to get Sin Crowley, which that's another one that I'm supposed to be getting as, as well. Um, 
in, in the future. Um, but we just got to, we have to have a great time for this one. Now, some of these interviews, I'm just catching these guys after matches and, and stuff like that. But there's certain interviews that I'm lining up that are going to be like, actual, like, like some, some deeper interviews. Because right now, I'm liking the whole, you know, catching a guy after a match or, you know, catching them before a match or, you know, whatever, whenever I do catch them on shows. Because it makes a different interview. So, we'll be having longer sit downs. But, I'm telling you, be looking out for those. But anyway, I'm going to stop yapping. And, um, that has been the format. And, the review of NXT TakeOver in your house. Format out.